you know, I woke up today and I felt alright, so I figured let's sort that out right away with playing this shit. Apparently there is a, uh... There's something about this wall. Well, there, apparently there's something a, uh... Quite right. There's a stairway somewhere in here, but what the fuck? I haven't been able to find it. I, I read two things in the walkthrough. First of all, apparently we are supposed to assemble that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, sign out in, uh, oh, there! Fuck me. Okay. What was that sound? Oh, creepy. Oh, it's a cat. Although they don't knock like that. That doesn't look. Look at this. Oh, poor kitty. There's someone in there. Not someone, it's a cat. Fucking idiot. To do this. I don't know. Right. This money. An empty photo album. Okay. Oh, poor cat. This is the perfect place to pin the hidden documents. <laughs> okay. What about the poor fucking cat, you absolute asshole? I'll rest after I have finished investigating. It's the most sensible thing you've said, yeah. There's someone in there. I have no idea how to do this. I don't have anything to open this with. The thing that you could do apparently was to actually assemble the sign out there, which we failed. Yeah, well, I failed to do rather. You had nothing to do with it. So let's attempt to converse with the woman in here who rented me the shack and see if she. Uh, as a key for the chest. Hello again. Good afternoon, stranger. What can I get you? I'll catch oh, you later. Doesn't care. Perhaps. Actually. Go in, you idiot. Oh. Not that I'm looking at home a walkthrough, but... Home. 
for the time being. Shut up, Nigel. Fuck's sake. Up you go. In there. So... Yes, that was the most obvious fucking thing in the world, wasn't it? Jesus Christ, this game. There's someone in there. Poor kitty. That's strange. Something was trying to get out. Well then. If it starts meowing and knocking again, I will get salty. I'm not sure if I mentioned last time. Uh, apparently, the creator of this game... I don't remember his name. He... Uh, Nigel is modelled after him. The actual model is meant to look like the guy who made the game and... Well, as you can see, he looks... Well, let's hope he doesn't look that bad in real life. And there's also the same guy voicing him, which is weird, because... The fucking direction for the voice... Just, it just seems completely out of place, and this guy wrote all the lines and the dialogue, so he should... He should have some idea of what the situation is. I mean, if you just phone your lines in, you're just given a script, and you have no one to act next to. So when there's a conversation, you you don't actually you don't actually know what the other people, person's saying to you. Well, you, you see it on the uh, you see it on the uh, the script, of course, but you have there's just no flow in the conversation because there's not another person standing next to you actually talking to you. But this guy had sort of an idea of it, and I assume he recorded his own shit last. Since I mean, might as well, but. It just seems completely absurd, a lot of it. So, this is supposed to actually combine at the end. But, I, f I think I did this before, but... Might be somewhere unknown. I need to click to actually. Jesus fucking ball sack. Game, what do you want? You can't expect pixel perfect if your controls are utter shit. Well, the walkthrough I'm definitely not looking at says a ding is heard when this is done correctly. The thing is, there's not much, there's not much fine control. For fuck's sake. Just clicking once moves it a set amount. The only way I can actually get it to move into some directions is by holding down the button because then it moves smoothly. But it also means. What? Re really? Dangerous undercurrents. I should take that as well. Really? To watch my step from now on. Fuck you, game! What on earth is that? Oh. Oh. That was that. That wasn't even. Look at the fucking. Look at the thing, Nigel. Look. Oh, now it's. What the hell? Nothing. 
nothing ventured. This makes me very angry. The fucking thing didn't register in the proper position. Fucking, fucking shit. Is there a thunderstorm now? God damn, Nigel bullshit prick basket. Prick barber son of a bitch. Are we done investigating now? Is that... Is that... He said he would sleep if he was done investigating, I assume. If we've clicked every weird fucking thing in the game. In the, in the game, then Idol can go to bed now, but I don't fucking know. I, I know I'm baffled, honestly. Come on, Snigel, you fucking. Yes, in you go. Well, we get the wonderful animation where he takes off his stupid flat cap and vest and says, Home sweet home, at least for now. That we cannot skip, no matter how much oh, I fucking sweet. click this guy fucking power. Fuck you, Nigel. Go sleep now, and if you won't sleep, I will throw you out the fucking window. Go to bed. Oh, the cyborg, look at him. What kind of nostrils do you have, you... Absolute. Biggest candle I've ever seen. You're not a beggar, Nigel. You paid for it. Idol. He keeps knocking my shit. Oh, someone's cleaned. That's kind. Has someone been here? Yes, cyborg Nigel. Oh god. Uncle Slaughter. Leafless and leaflet attached. Don't you go open the door, Nigel. 
That's not right. That's not right. Look at it, you stupid bastard. Fucking. What? Leaflet attached. Where's the leaflet? This is it. I hate you. Right, so, sure, who's knocking? Are you gonna wear your clothes to answer the door? Back inside. Is that Morse code? Oh, it's an SOS. I see. Well, fuck that then. Who is that? Maybe I should follow him. Did he just phase out of existence? That's a ghost, Nigel. Stop, I'll stop being I'll pick up the trail. Alright. Is... I must find out what he's up to. <laughs> a man is outside in the town which is a place where people normally live their lives. We better follow him. Obviously up to no good. Mr. Hardacre, you're a hard man to follow. I nearly lost you. Not interested. I have brought you here for a reason. And one reason only. I want you to leave Saxton at your first convenience and never come back. What? Now look here, you can't order people about. I'm no threat to you, like you pointed out. I know nothing about geology or archaeology. That's not the half of it. There's mystery and danger involved. You know nothing about this town or the land around us. So, is that a crime? It takes skill, understanding, and a strong mind to find what's hidden out there in the fens. It's an old land which can be unforgiving to those who blunder in with their eyes closed and their chins wagging. Ugh. Danger? What danger? It's it a zone? Thought. No, nothing yet. Are you threatening me, Mr. Hardacre? No, you fool. I'm trying to warn you. Take that cottage, harbour cottage, that you'll be staying in. Know much about it, do you? You know I don't. It's a small place, a bit stuffy, but nice enough. Listen out, tonight, as you're drifting into sleep. Listen for the sounds. Sounds? What sounds? You heard them, you idiot. The cottage is haunted. You oh. will know soon enough. They always do. You're trying to warn a man about something and telling him to leave, and when he asks you about it, you say you'll know soon enough, as if he will stay. Yes, these fucking people. An old land? Some parts of our land have seen great things. Others have seen murder, disease, and disaster. If you look close enough, you can see the signs. A landscape can seem empty and desolate when the sun sets low and the wind chills the blood. But the land is never empty. It echoes with the voices of those that have gone before. Pagan warrior kings, great gods and fearsome beasts. Keep your eyes and ears open and you'll know soon enough. What are the fens? An ancient world of murky waters and whispering reeds. 
They surround us on all sides, trapping us here, so to speak. Take a walk tomorrow morning out across the shore, through the Fenland Eye. The Fens will be waiting, like those who dwell there. They are always waiting. That's kind of what geographical locations do. They don't often wander. Where is the treasure? Well done, oh Nigel. Oh dear, oh dear. You didn't really think it would be that easy, did you? Things that are lost are waiting to be found. But what of those precious items that have been hidden, stashed away for good reason? Should we go looking for treasures we are not supposed to find? You are talking nonsense, Mr. Hardacre. Nonsense, is it? Well, we shall see. Watch your back, Dango. Not everyone in this town is as accommodating as myself. There are those who won't take too kindly to you digging up what should lay buried. That's enough questions, Danvers. If you insist on staying, think on what I have said. You're just a lad. Be careful what you go looking for. Good night. Good night. Mr. Hardacre. I wonder if Daniel... Or Nigel, what the hell he's called, speaks in the way he does because his nostrils are just two slits. He's some sort of fish man. Fuck this, I'm going to the bear. No, Nigel, the door's... Hmm, what's this? Oh. What? No fucking wonder you make up wake up in the middle of the night. Fucking Alright then. Let's go have a look, get the cat. It's not the cat, fuck the party. Hello get her. likes it spot by the fire. Hello again. What can I get you? Is May a busy time for Saxton? Yes, you could say that. Local events? The Saxton May Day Fair is famous in these parts. You'll be in for quite a week. Does the pub have a phone? Afraid not. Wouldn't be in keeping with the place. Now, I've been able to ask Is this before, but can... some of the other shit's yes, across gone. The nice. harbor, oh. Over the bridge and up station lane. Oh, it's a payphone. Okay, uh, I I'll guess catch we'll you later. have to Perhaps. go talk to a dude there. What's our objective? That's, that's not right. For fuck's sake, no, I do. That's not happened. That might have happened. All right, there's a party in here or something. Strange. I thought I heard voices. I think you were just demented, Nigel. What's the crab doing? Hmm. Is this the same time? I forget. That's unusual. The clock is stuck at nine o'clock. Right. I wonder if the uh, the bit over here is unblocked. Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, there's a kitty. And a weird man. Hello up there. Oh, good evening to you. 
What are you doing? Fixing this here bunting to the buildings. Why? Is there a celebration due? You? you just ask Where someone you that, Where you been hiding? There's May Day around the corner. Saxton's a quiet town. Well, if you say so. Could you fix the electricity at Harbour Cottage? Gone again, is it? Damn wiring. Is that a no? Hey, for now. Sorry, lad. Hello, random stranger. Fix my I'll wiring. Let me get on. May Day will come quicker that way. Fuck. I left this bit still blocked. Can I walk past it now? Oh, there's another kit here. Now to find a phone box. A phone handle. Time to make amends. Kitty. This one? What's that foghorn? Three crowns. A link to the legend. Stupid knickknacks. Another kitty. Hello. Kitty. Walk into some dude's thing in the middle of the night. Well, everything here is completely dark and making weird noises, but then again, the fucking toilet makes weird noises in this town. I'm not particularly weirded out about anything this way. the coast path that had you could be fine for that you know excuse me pasting posters fly posters it's illegal isn't it I have no idea is there something you want are you lost actually I have something of yours what oh, really? and what's that your wallet Here, take it Oh, um, Why are you being so thanks. snarky? I didn't mean to snap. So, what's the poster for? Take a look. Hmm, Reuben's Fair. Huh. Oh dear, are the freaks coming to town? Nigel, what the fuck? I'm Nigel, by the way. <laughs> Nigel Danvers? I'm Lucy. Lucy Reuben's. Ah, uh, I see. Part of the fair? Yep, I'm one of the freaks. I didn't mean to offend you. Too late. I was hoping to get laid. I'm an idiot. I saw you out in the uh, reed beds. You mean the fens? Fens? What's the origin? It's Anglo Saxon for a swamp or marsh or bog. Quagmire, perhaps? Same to you, too. Oh, a comedian. Fuck's sake, Nigel. Go drown yourself. So, are you local? I was, but I only returned for the holidays. You must know the surrounding area very well. Not really. I tend to stay in town. I have my studies. Ah, what are you studying? Psychology. Really? So what do you make of me? You are desperate, Idiot. insecure, and seeking phantom treasures. How did you know that? Ah, pretty obvious, is it? Uh-huh. I'll leave you to, um, paste your posters. See you around, sunshine. Nigel, you are a fucking twat. <laughs> hmm, what's this? It's a phone! Oh. Let's call him. Alex is busy right now. Please leave a message. <laughs> also notice that this is square, 
the receiver when we pick it up as round. Alright, let's... That's not right. Let's actually call about That's the cat. That's not right. Please help us. Someone is taking our beloved pets. We are desperate for information. Please leave your name and number so we can get back to you. The person responsible for the missing Saxton cats is... What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Nigel, what the hell are you playing? There's no way of getting out of this without accusing someone. Fuck it, heartache is a cock. Thank you, kind soul. <laughs> what the fucking... Uh, I don't know. I want to speak to Haddon. And why would Mr. Haddon want to speak to you? I have something to say, to make a deal. My dear Mr. Danvers, what could you possibly offer? Haddon? Speaking? Is there something you want to say? Leave me alone. I didn't see anything. So call off your dogs. Mr. Hare and Mr. Crow have your welfare in mind, Nigel. Well, they won't find me. I've left the city. Yes. How are you finding Saxton so far? That phone box looks a little, uh, old-fashioned. What? How did you... Are you still spying on me? Oh, Nigel. That's a little rich, coming from you. I didn't intend to hack your files. <sighs> like you didn't intend to print off some copy. What is that stuff? Anyway. For fuck's sake, Nigel. The future, dear boy. What kind of... And oh. the past. We have the technology, as you know. Jesus. Bastard. What do you want from me, Mr. Hatton? Nothing and everything. A few little tasks. Involving the paranormal. I'm not a lab rat, Hatton. That's exactly what you are, Nigel. A rat in a trap. Help us with our research. You won't go unrewarded. Uh... Where are Hare and Crow? They've lost your scent, Nigel. You need not worry. Tell me about the research. Ah, I knew you'd show an interest. You can help us, Nigel. I'm not a scientist, Haddon, nor a ghost hunter. Paranormal research can require very little, Nigel. I have nothing except the clothes that I stand in. Scrying. I beg your pardon? Scrying is an ancient art. You only need water and a mirror. What do I do? Is it dangerous? Ah, uh, please be, be dangerous. Pour the water down the mirror and watch. And wait. You may be surprised by the results. We often are. We? You practice this scrying in the lab? Yes, with amazing results. Just believe and look deeply. The ghost hunters of old showed great ingenuity. Tell me about the research. Ah, I knew you'd show an interest. You can help us, Nigel. I'm not a scientist, Haddon, nor a ghost hunter. Paranormal research can require very little, Nigel. I have nothing except scribe. Hey. What do it can be? You may we the ghost hunt. Apparently, this is a new being able to skip this. There was a when this, the the uh, there was an updated version released on Steam where you apparently had some functionality upgrades. So this is actually the the revised uh, version of the game. Oh god. How do you know where I am? I know everything about you, Nigel. How comforting. What happens next? Await my gift. It was dispatched this afternoon. How did you know where, uh... 
where you'd stay, like I said. You know everything. What's the gift? You will see. Not all is as it seems. Keep that in mind. These experiments, am I in any danger? Hopefully. Would you like me to lie? No, but uh, I've always suspected that... Life should be more interesting, more exciting. I hate my job. I'd do anything to get away. This could be your big break, Nigel. I see you as... How can I put this? An imbecile? A little bit of an investment. So, I'm forgiven for snooping. Curiosity and ingenuity should be rewarded. Good night, Mr. Haddon. Good night, Mr. Danvers. Good hunting. Mm. We're going, going back. I hope she didn't hear the conversation. I feel like enough of a moron as it is. You see him. I wonder if you can die in this. I hope you can. If I manage to kill Nigel, we'll just the pretend the story closed. ends there. Cats are sad always. The, fuck? the building is closed. I'm assuming I'm to go back to the fucking house. I was just trying to get a an idea of the geography of this place, so But we appear to have hit a dead end. Unless there's some sort of fucking stairwell completely hidden like the one in the uh, cottage we're renting. Fuck everything. Well, you do the little vest thing, Nigel. Oh, wonderful. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Nothing ventured. Why does he say that every time he goes into the dark? Scary. No, don't leap. Right, we shall do this next time. The SOS blinking thingy here. So, TTYL.